Thank you, Alexandra, and thank you um, to all the speakers and panelists for, for, for this discussion. Um, very brief closing remarks on my side. Um, I have to say that I'm really impressed. I'm impressed by the three hours of discussions we've just had, which speaking for me felt like five minutes, uh, which is always a good sign. And if I want to be a bit more granular, I'm impressed by two things really. First of all, the technical expertise, the know-how, the intelligence of the speakers we had and the contribution they made to a deep, thorough, insightful reflection. So this is really impressive. The second thing I'm really impressed about is that effectively we heard a unanimous support to a sustainable corporate governance regulation. And this is something, this is, this is something big. And that coming on top of the clear determination of Commissioner Reinders um, to actually deliver a proper piece of regulation, uh, you know, dealing with sustainable corporate governance. And I want to thank Commissioner Reinders for, for being so clear and so explicit on the issue, um, makes me optimistic that we're moving forward in the right direction. Uh, Effectively, if we are all saying that stable corporate governance rules are beneficial uh, and should be mandatory because basically information and transparency is not sufficient to build a sustainable world that we need to build, um, we effectively are linking this to something that has been um, evoked several times in our debates, which is the double materiality um, conception of sustainable finance that we have in the EU. And when you think about it, what would be the point of having a sustainable finance agenda and legislation and regulation built on double materiality? What would be the point of having non-financial reporting standards built by EFRAG at the moment, you know, and founded on double materiality if you don't have corporations working on the inside out impact of their of their action very importantly because we we're very pragmatic people and we want things to happen we also heard the concern of the business community on the liability side and on the on the on the litigation side and i think if that if we want to be constructive and we all need to be constructive in order to achieve the result of having an impactful and meaningful sustainable corporate governance regulation, we need to find the right balance, to strike the right balance between the fact that there is a need for liability, potential liability, because it's, it's in the nature of the business game and of society in general. And at the same time, we need to hear the concern in particular that was expressed in the first panel that clearly directors do not want to be held liable for past decisions, because if they are held liable for past decisions, nobody's going to be willing to be a director and we will go nowhere. So we need to understand that, but I'm confident that um, we can find the right balance on this. And as John Ruggie was mentioned several times, and if I can share something personal, um, I had the privilege of working with John Ruggie some 12 years ago. Um, and if I can say one thing about the great man that John Ruggie was, um, not only his intelligence and proved by what he delivered in the end in the business and human rights world and, and, and for preempting the business and human rights um, issue was that he had the ability to make different people work together and bring to get together, convene people who started from very, very different angles. So I would say that we in the EU today should take inspiration from what John Ruggie did and come together, where, whether we're coming from the NGO, from the academic, from the government, or from the business angle, and be able to understand the other side's concerns so that we build the sustainable corporate governance uh, regulation that we need to make this world sustainable. And if we don't make this world sustainable, we will have, all have a serious problem in the not distant future. With that, I will uh, stop my remarks. Uh, thank everybody for uh, being with us today. We had a very large audience. So thank you very much to all the, the auditors and the people who joined us. Many thanks to our uh, most distinguished panelists. Um, and let's continue the discussion. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>